Hi, this is April from Craft Knife Chronicles, and I'm here to share with you a new project. It's a Mother Goose box. This box has two featured elements. There is a pop-up inside of the lid, and also there's a little mini book that is stored inside. The project was made with uh, the Mother Goose paper line from Graphic 45. I used the 8x8 paper, 6x6, um, six six, and some of uh, the chipboard and sticker elements as well. And then the box is the Graphic 45 book box. This is the larger of the two boxes that um, are currently available. So on the outside of the box, on the top lid here, you see kind of a scene of Mother Goose, just a little pretty picture. I made this from fussy cutting some of the elements from the uh, main paper from the collection. And it I had to cut them out because this the paper, like we said, was 8x8, eight eight, but the top of the box is only 5x7, so I had to make some adjustments in order to make uh, an image that would fit on onto the top of the box. But I basically did that by taking the top part of the, the paper image and the bottom part and just bringing them together. Um, on the spine, there are two elements that pivot. They have magnets in them, and the purpose of these is there's a magnet uh, above the top here that will attach to the cover, and if you want to uh, have the box in the open position to see the pop-up, those magnets will support that and keep it hold, hold the lid open to see the pop-up. Uh, the sides have some decorative paper. On this left side, it uh, may look like a drawer. It mirrors the right side, but this is a false front on the, on the left. But on the right, there's actually a drawer that opens, and we'll see uh, the little mini uh, book that's in there in a moment. On the front, uh, there's another uh, element here. It's actually the closure. There's a magnet behind there, and it holds the, the box closed. The pop-up has uh, a lot of depth to it, so it actually comes down inside of this, this box, and it needs something to help keep it closed. So let's open it up and take a look at the pop-up. So the pop-up consists of, uh, is a tiered kind of a pop-up. I'll put it on the side here and you can see how the layers come together. And just to give some height to the elements and also just to make a scene that, look, that has hills and, and different areas going on. And I just fussy cut the images from different pieces of paper, kind of depending on the size that um, I needed for the scene. The, the paper um, has um, repeats many of these images in different sides facing, sizes facing different directions, so that it's easy to create a scene like this. You can see there are various um, uh, of the characters from some of the familiar uh, Mother Goose stories. And here you can see kind of the different layers of the pop-ups. There's a sticker here in the front because by nature of the pop-ups there has to be some space here because when it closes up there has to be some room for all of the images to go. So this area needs to st stay relatively flat. So I just put a little sticker there to kind of relieve um, that from being too boring right there in the front. So that is the pop-up. I'll close this back down. 
take a look at the little mini out mini book that's inside. So there's a drawer on this right side that opens. And inside is a little mini book. So this is a, basically an accordion book. It, um, I used the tags that came inside of the Graphic 45 box to be the front and the back of the book. They had to be cut down a little bit because the, they, they were sized to fit inside of the, the main box and because I had a drawer that made it a little bit smaller. Um, and then a, there's an accordion in, inside, and then on the back there's an element from the pockets uh, accessories. It's like a belt buckle, which I use to uh, my advantage to kind of corral the, the closer ribbons. It's uh, like a buckle. There's a, I put a piece of a ring of chipboard underneath the outside, but it's there's space behind the center part, so it's very easy to thread the ribbons through there to close the book up. And then just added some some fibers at the top for decorative purposes. Um, this element on the front is one of the chipboard elements from the paper line, and this is one of the stickers down here. So let's open this up and see what's inside here. So when the, when the book opens up, there's a lot of different um, a, pictures and features and different little interactive elements in here. Um, the way I made this pop up, it has these kind of um, flaps here, which are also pockets. And then I added some of the little pockets from uh, the accessories that come with the paper line and used some of the elements to make little pockets here. And then uh, the, when the accordion book was made, there is two pockets that get formed, so I put some little postcards inside of them. And then on the back side, there's more. The ribbon's kind of getting away a little bit, it's okay. And very similar to the front, little pockets here, some images, another pocket down here with one of the longer tags. So that's the little mini book. It's back together and as I said it's really easy to close it back up. These these guys just you can see how easily they slip underneath the buckle there to close it back up. There we go. Flip it over. Not the world's best bow maker, but I'm sure there's a better way to make a bow, but this is okay. And so there's the little little mini book. So that's the finished Mother Goose box project. If you're interested in seeing how this was constructed, there are a couple of separate videos that go through the steps that I took to make both the pop-up and the little mini book. I enjoyed making this project and working with the Mother Goose paper. I hope you're encouraged to try something with this collection yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.